So my story is about a year in Turkish politics, a year where I think powerful, dark, sincere forces have combined to erode um, freedom and democracy in Turkey. So for me, I had to work extra hard knowing that I'm an outsider and that I'm taking a very kind of critical or commenting on Turkey in a very critical way. So I had to photograph everything. I had to have photographs of newspaper cuttings. I had to have photographs of Turkish news channels. I had to go to the southeast of Turkey. I had to go to events, rallies, protests, counter protests, funerals, and there's been many bombings, all these things to build up, in my opinion, a very complete, but a very kind of um, uh, possibly metaphorical or a um, abundance of imagery to hopefully tell, tell that story through almost like a 360 degree approach to storytelling now. And I think that that's just kind of going to be so important to the way that I continue to work or documentary photography should evolve. No, I don't think it's any story. And I think the one thing that I'm really passionate about now is that I think we need to start losing those labels. I think having that, that type of label to, to photography, particularly any sort of labels within documentary photojournalism, is kind of a dangerous thing because inevitably we just confuse ourselves and argue about what is a reportage picture or what is a portrait picture. I see photojournalism or documentary photography as moving in a much more non-linear way, that it's completely fine to have in one story still lives, screenshots, um, landscapes, um, whatever it may be, uh, non-pictures, symbols, pa po paintings, graphics, whatever, to tell that story. I don't think that we should be bound to 20th century ideas of what photojournalism is. I think we're moving into areas where we don't even know what it is, but we should be constantly rethinking our approach, the best way to tell a story. My experience here at the masterclass is being on this and this intense week and the different thoughts and ideas that you have will impact your photography. And I think photographers, we always try and myself included, we always try and maybe work in a bubble or work alone for so long. So like getting rid of your ego and exposing your yourself to new ideas and putting your work out there, we have to be open and we have to collaborate and seek out new partners new partnerships, new, new, new relationships to, to, uh, to, to get the work out there. So this week is all about collaborating and it's going to change my, of course, it's going to change my photography or my approach to photography.